I got another bookmark from my friend Terry. Not meow. I'm reading. Look at that little demon, though. Ooh, look at him. He plotting your murder. Hello, everybody. E here. Welcome back to another book review. And this probably ain't going to be a review. I'm going to say that right up front. This isn't going to be a review that literary-minded people are going to to enjoy or want to even watch because you're not going to get any deep insight on this book. Uh, same thing I said with uh, Thomas Pynchon's The Crying of Lot 4-9. Did I get that right? 4-9? I <laughs> finally got it right. Um, I did not understand all of this book, but I absolutely loved it. Um, I'm not going to get too dark here because I don't want to start, you know, I don't want to be a sobby mess or anything. But I picked this book up um, the, the day that I pretty much came to grips with the fact that my mother was dying. My mother passed away February 18th of 2020. It is now March 6th of 2020, so I'm not even a month away from it. Um, but this book helped a lot. Uh, watching how the Bundren, 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 I'm not sure. <laughs> it says, it doesn't say on the back, so I'm not going to get saved there. I think it's the Bundren, B-U-N-D-R-E-N, family, uh, all dealt, de dealing with, dealt with, uh, the passing of the matriarch of the family, Addie. Um, there are several characters in here that I loved and adored to read about. I mean, probably didn't like them, because this book is full of people you're going to dislike. Um, I didn't like Yardiman at all. I think that's his name. I didn't, I didn't care for his sections at all. Um, but I understood the, the purpose of them, and we had to see that character's point of view. Uh, my two favorite storylines are uh, Cash's with his legs, and you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about if you've read the book, and Dewey Dell, uh, her, I was, I was utterly blown away, flummoxed, just flat out taken by where that character went, because I didn't pay too much attention to her throughout the book. I knew what had happened to her. Um, I knew what she was going through. It was interesting seeing kind of the parallel with her and Addie um, with, well, I don't want to get into too much, and I don't want to talk about spoilers here. This is not a literary dissection. This is just me talking about what I liked about this book. I get a lot of flack for that, too, by the way. Um, people are like, this isn't a review. This is just me, you telling us that you liked the book. Well, yeah, I mean, if you like the same things I like, you you know, you watch the channel enough, you're like, okay, well, if he likes that, maybe I will. Same kind of thing. I'm just not here for the spoilers. So... The, there, there's a scene in the book that I do want to talk about. It has to do with the bridge being out. That's all I'm going to say about that. The bridge being gone, you know, them not being able to cross it. And that scene alone felt like a metaphor for the family losing the mother. I may be completely way off base here. Or maybe I was reading my own feelings into the missing bridge. But is that structure that was always there to carry you where, where you needed to go. That, you know, that firmament that was there, that was just snatched away, and they're left in this chaos wondering, what am I going to do now? What are we going to do now? This person meant so much to us. This person was everything. You look back throughout your entire life, and that person has been there every single day, and then all of a sudden, they're not. And it, I, it felt like that's what the, the, the bridge sequence meant. And I could be reading something completely different into it, but it's art, um, especially Faulkner. Um, Faulkner is certainly art. Um, I, I don't know who to... I, I don't know who to uh, suggest this book to. If you haven't read Faulkner, I suggest you do. I suggest starting with this one. I talked to a few uh, of my, my friends on Twitter, especially Scott Kemper who used to teach Faulkner, and he says start here also, or actually start with a short story, I can't remember which one it is, I apologize, but I'll re be reading that soon and, you know, uh, reviewing it as I come across it. But, um, they say this is good entry level, um, I see a lot of, I, I saw a lot when I was looking up the reading order of Faulkner, uh, what books you should read first, a lot of them said start with Absalom, Absalom, uh, which is funny because I spoke to Scott, and Scott told me that, that book is a, either a direct sequel or it ties into The Sound and the Fury, so, and it's also one of his most experimental novels. Uh, so I, if you see that out there, from what I gather, it is not a good place to start. But this is a perfect entrance uh, to him. Uh, I understand he does a lot of stream of consciousness writing. There isn't much in here. There is, a, there is quite a bit. Uh, the, 
the one thing I want to go back to as far as the characters, Darl, I didn't too much care for Darl to begin with, but once I found out where he ended up and how he ended up, I was very happy with his storyline also, but not as taken as I was with Dewey Dells and Cash's. Especially Dewey Dells, man. I, I didn't see that coming. The pharmacist at the end is the scene I'm talking about that just kind of blew me away. Um, I was like, holy crap, that's that's some down and dirty, that's just, that's ugly. Um, and then you have the body horror of Cash, that's all I'm saying about that one. I didn't see that coming either for a book that was released in 1930. But if you read As I Lie Dying by William Faulkner, if you have, let me know what you thought of it down there in the doobly-doo. If you liked it, tell me why you liked it. If you hated it, tell me why you hated it. And if you'd like to explain anything like the uh, the nuances and everything that I didn't talk about in this book, please go ahead. In fact, the best person to describe what this book is about and the themes and everything, I, as long as you don't put spoilers, I will pin you, pin your comment to the top of the thread so people can get a load of what this book is actually about. I've gone through it and I've watched the videos explaining what it was. I missed more than half of the stuff. But I still love the experience, so I'm giving it a perfect rating, 5 out of 5. Until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!